Hello guys, welcome back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So today we will start with the Playwright tutorial. So Playwright is a currently trending tool. Uh, I have already created one video where we have compared all the trending tools. So this is the video and we have already created a lot of video on the Puppeteer. So Playwright has now more advantages over Puppeteer and Selenium and nowadays uh, it is very trending tool. So we will talk about it and we start learning together. So I have already started uh, automating Playwright since last year and uh, I have contributed a lot with the Playwright. So I thought like uh, I can create more videos on. Also I got so many requests to create uh, videos on Playwright that will be useful for beginners. So I will start with that. So first of all in this video we will go through the what are the benefits it provides and uh, I will write a sample script and uh, we do the installation and all and uh, at the end we should be able to run one sample script with the playwright and uh, in future i will create more videos like uh, puppeteer we did and uh, we will learn it more so let's start so first of all uh, we will go through the playwright uh, advantages so we all know like playwright is currently trending automation tool and it allows you to uh, automate ui and it is very modern tool so uh, first of all the benefits it provides over the Puppeteer is cross browser so it by default supports like uh, all the uh, browsers that are trending like Chromium, WebKit and Firefox. Also it is cross platform so you can write uh, your script in Windows, Linux, Mac OS or any other OS. Also it is supports multiple languages that is some more benefit like whatever the language you know from TypeScript, JavaScript, Python, .NET or Java. So it covers almost all the trending language so you can use that also you can test the mobile web so native mobile emulation of the google chrome like in google chrome you can go through the developer tools and you can use that uh, mobile view and you can automate uh, in that also so other benefits like framework provide for automation side is like auto weight so you don't have to put externally weights it has a uh, some auto weights and it wait till the element appears you can uh, uh, put your limits for auto weights and uh, uh, the automation will run with that so, and other the benefit is like web first assertion so it has by default uh, dynamic web check and it checks uh, uh, for the weight and if uh, element is failing it fails the test also it uh, provides tracing so it provides screenshot videos by default you don't have to do anything externally only you just need to install is playwright no trade off no limits like multiple everything so what you can do is like uh, you can uh, use multiple tabs multiple users in your test single test also it has trusted events like uh, over element interact with dynamic control produce trusted events so what happens is like in other tools most of this uh, things fails because it uh, doesn't add all trusted events also test frame pierce shadow domes so playwright selector pierce shadow domes and allow entering frames seamlessly so it will be easy to uh, use uh, uh, automate these shadow domes and uh, frames with playwright it supports full isolation and fast execution so with browser context uh, you can if you are running multiple uh, uh, sessions or uh, test and in parallel it runs very fast because it's fully isolated and login was like you don't need to handle login scenarios explicitly so you just need to log in once and playwright will take care of the session so it will be helpful also powerful tooling so it provides a code gen so where you can write the test automatically so it will generate the codes also playwrights inspector it has so you can use browser inspector if you are comfortable or you can use playwrights also also trace viewer so if any test has got failed it is provide a lot of information about the logs uh, which dom got failed snapshot videos and everything so this way it will uh, provide lot of default things that ui automation needs and uh, it will uh, reduce our headache so these are the things uh, you get with the playwright so let's start with the docs so let's go through the demo first so we will uh, first uh, install the playwright and uh, what all get installed we will talk about that and how to run the example test so it will automatically create few example tests so i will uh, 
go through it uh, code and uh, I will explain uh, how the test is written and uh, we will run uh, how to open the HTML test report and whatever all things it will provide. So let's start. So first we need to do is uh, we need to open the terminal. So I have created one sample project that is blank. So in terminal I have writing npm install playwright at the rate letter. So it will install let us playwright and it will you ask like what what uh, you want to use. So I am going with the TypeScript and then I, it will uh, ask me like uh, where you want to put your test. So if you are uh, using developers uh, repo and you have created a separate folder there, you can provide that path here. But if this is the uh, completely blank, so I, I will going with the default test folder and uh, it will require any github action or not so i didn't have github crea support created here so i am uh, keeping it false but if you have github already so you can uh, provide uh, create it to true so you just need to pro press y so it will uh, again asking me install a playwright browser so i want to install or not so i am installing it so it started installing so it got installed so i have already installed the browser first so it won't take much time but if you are doing that first time it will take more time to install the browsers so what all things it has generated it has generated one packet.json so all the node projects have this packet.json and it will uh, provide you some basic information like what is the name of your project version if description if you have pro want to provide any description and main is index.js and uh, you can provide like a license and uh, dependencies so you can add more dependencies if it has it has created packet log.json so it is a log file it is uh, it has uh, information about license version a uh, node version and everything you must need not to change anything in this it is already log file and in playwright config.ts you will get the information about the playwright configuration so currently uh, like uh, fully parallel true like it will run parallel retries so how many retries you want to do a reporter you want to report html and uh, trace like on first retry it will provide the trace projects you can uh, have is like it has chromium firefox and webkit all three installs it has already commented out this viewport so you can run it against a pixel 5 iphone 12 it again remember it is not original forms it is the web view of uh, that size that chrome provides so i have created one video on developer tools like where we are talk about and screen sizes also i have created i think one more video so there we talked about that and you can test again branded browser like microsoft as google chrome as well so here it will provide you some basic commands like npx playwright test is a basic command to run the basic test cases with ui if you want to write you need, just need to provide ui and npx playwright test project chromium so it will run against the desktop from browser and npx playwright test example so it will only run some example file if you want to run with debug mode it is very easy you just need to provide this just debug and if you want to create an automatic code with the code gen you just need to go to code gen so we'll create separate videos about this so currently i am running default test so here in test folder it has created example spec.gts and it has two default uh, tests created so what is uh, doing is like in import uh, it is uh, importing expect and test so expect is uh, like assertions so if you have uh, uh, learned uh, puppet here then we will already use that and with selenium we i think most of you guys has used the assertion so you expect you can uh, use same so first of all we are going to the playwright.dev and we are expecting that uh, page has to have property playwright so page is a default class and uh, it has method like go to so in go to you can pass the url and it will hit that url so page will provide so many methods uh, so we will discuss about those methods like go to go by label get by text uh, type and all click everything so it will hit the puppet here uh, this playwright dev uh, website and uh, it will assert like if it has title playwright or not so if you go through the website and you can search about the title tag 
so in title tag you can see it is a playwright so less means it contains or not in the next uh, test cases uh, it go through again that website and get uh, started link so here like in playwright we have this get started so it will uh, find the link there it has so if you can see it has this intro in the link so it is verifying like it has intro or not so you can run those uh, script again like uh, npm run test npx playwright test so it will run the all this playwright test so all six playwright tests got run and it got passed so with npx playwright show report you can so you can uh, pass this npx playwright so report so it will show the report so you, if you go through the report uh, you can see like uh, all these six test cases it runs so you can go to any of the link and you can see like it got uh, went to this and uh, which uh, 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 dom it has hit if something got failed it will show as a red mark and also it will provide the screenshot of the failure and uh, it will record the video so let's start uh, uh, failing something so in this intro i will provide something uh, xyz so it will get failed you can run with ui as well so it will run in the ui mode that uh, we will discuss later like what all uh, you can do with that ui so first uh, just running with the ui so it will have this mods dark mode and all so here you can click it and run it you can run separate one one step also we will talk this about in detail so currently i am running these two test cases that we discussed with the ui so it got failed because i have created uh, this i have changed it to this and now it got failed so in failed test case you can check like what all get failed so it will show you like uh, this locator is not there adapter hook and all also it will provide the video and at what step it got failed and it will provide you the trace log as well so it will be very easy to uh, uh, debug the fail test case so we have run this now again let's go to documentation so we what we did is we installed that what is got installed we talked about that we have run our example test we talked about the html reporter so here it like this and if, if you click there on that that we have discussed so these are the requirements it has so most of the system nowadays have this requirement fulfilled so you can use a uh, playwright with that so we have discussed all the basics we will go to i will create more next uh, like more things about how to click button how to type in the uh, text box and all and then we'll go to the further i will explain all the things that uh, it is provide how to generate the code automatically and some advanced level so it has so many things here so we will create more videos on this so till now if you are able to if you are still not able to write your first uh, script with the playwright uh, feel free to comment i will help and also you can message me in the social media accounts that i have provided the link in the description so please don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video and share it to your queer friends. Thank you.